Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. He's a cheeky little engine. Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names where each week we're looking to the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking at the first name of Thomas. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who's become a patron in the most recent week. This includes Stephanie Rachel, Poe, Jameson Green and Drake. Thank you guys all so much for becoming patrons. Patreon is the best way to help Name Explain. If you want to help support Name Explain in the best way possible, please do go to patreon.com forward slash Name Explain and become a patron. Just one dollar a month helps out a huge, huge, huge way. You get ad-free videos, exclusive content, and a chance to have a say in what names get explained here on the channel. Please do consider doing it if you can afford it. Thank you very much. But anyway, on with today's name of Thomas. And Thomas is a really popular name in the English speaking world. And despite its huge popularity, it actually has quite a unique, odd meaning. The name Thomas actually comes from Aramaic roots. And if you aren't aware of what Aramaic is, it was an ancient language and it's believed to be the language spoken by Jesus himself. And not just Jesus, obviously. Everyone around him probably would have spoken as well. It's sort of in the language of the Middle East, his part of the Middle East, Jerusalem sort of area at the time. So yeah, it's a pretty ancient language. And in this language, the name was Taoma. Apologies, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that 100% right. My Aramaic isn't up to scratch. Apologies, sorry about that. It was then the Greeks who adapted this name from Taoma into Thomas as we know it today. As for the meaning of the name Thomas, well, it means twin. So if you're called Thomas and you're not a twin, then quite frankly, you're doing the name wrong. You shouldn't be alone right now. Toms should always have another, maybe another Tom. Well, that's what's odd about this. I find this name so weird. Like, why just have one name meaning twin? Is there another name out there that means twin too? Does it mean if you have twins, you call them both Thomas? Which one gets to be called Thomas? It's, it's very strange. Is that just me or is that just a bit odd? Coincidentally, I actually know a twin called Thomas. So if you're watching this video, twin Thomas, you're doing it right. Well done you. Why does this name even mean twin? Well, unfortunately, we don't seem to be too sure. Thankfully, we have ideas on the name, however, and most of those ideas relate to the most famous of Thomases, the Thomas who probably made this name super popular into the name it is today. That being Thomas the Apostle, one of the disciples, apostles, followers, or whatever you want to call them, of Jesus himself, the big man himself. Apostles and followers and disciples, are they all the same thing? I think so. Different names for the same thing. Someone should make a video about that or something. And as we have seen so often during Fun With First Names, if a name is common in the Bible, then it becomes pretty popular in the English speaking world and just around the world in general, really. And Thomas was one of those examples. People saw the name Thomas in the Bible, thought, that's a nice name. I like the Bible. I'm going to name my child it. And there we have it today. But was this Thomas a twin though? Well, we don't actually seem to be too sure. In fact, we don't even all fully believe he was actually called Thomas. Some believe that his name was actually, and I've got it written down here, Didymus. Did I Moss? Some believe that was his actual name and Thomas was a nickname. However, this name of Dada Mouse apparently also means twin too. So maybe that's just another nickname. We don't know, we just, like I said, we aren't 100% sure he was even called Thomas. But the reason he was a twin, however, still remains somewhat unknown. There are theories, however, as I said. Some believe that he got this name slash nickname of Thomas because he looked particularly similar to someone else at the time. Maybe Jesus himself? That's just my own, like, wild theory. Maybe Thomas the Apostle looked a lot like Jesus too, you know, like, how did Jesus look then? Maybe they looked pretty similar and it kind of evolved from that. Maybe he looked a lot like the big man, who knows? Is it even acceptable to call Jesus the big man? Apologies if that's not, should we call him like the little guy or something? I think God's the big man, so maybe Jesus is the little guy. Apologies, sorry about that if I've upset anyone. I also read how this Aramaic word didn't say much mean twin, but meant paired, so it meant someone was paired with someone. That obviously doesn't have as much biological implications. So maybe Thomas was particularly paired, particularly close with one person in particular. Once again, maybe Jesus himself. And one other theory I read is that he wasn't actually called Thomas and his real name was Judas. And the reason he got the nickname of Thomas meaning twin was because he was like the twin Judas. He was the other Judas. So instead of having confused about two people with the same name, they just gave him a nickname instead. And that's probably for the best because he probably Shortly after the whole stuff happened, we'll say, he probably didn't want to be associated with the name Judas anyway. No one really does at the moment. Like to this day, 
Judas is still a name that hasn't really survived and still has that connotation of being a traitor and whatnot. Hence why he's probably more known as Thomas, because he didn't want to get confused. And man, Jesus, he could turn water to wine and walk on water, but he couldn't remember two people of the same name. Come on now. Though whatever the case may be, it led to the name Thomas having the strange meaning of twin. And I kind of feel a bit sad for Thomas, really. This name seems a bit oxymoronic, sort of an oxymoron, like Tom means twin. It means there should always be two of them, but the name Thomas is all alone. If there's any other names out there, that also mean twin, please do let me know down in the comments below because I need to find it and we need to find Tom a pair. Or if you have twins, call them both Thomas because that's what they want. That won't be confusing at all, will it, I suppose? Poor old Thomas is alone for now though. Very sad. Though in reality, Thomases aren't that alone because Thomas is a super popular name. In the USA, it is the 45th most popular boy's name. And here in the UK, it's the 15th most popular boy's name. This is a really just classic traditional name. Doesn't really seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. There are so many famous Thomases that I've decided to dedicate this famous Thomas segment to just famous animated Thomases. And of course, from that, we have Thomas the Tank Engine. Creepy show that. Have you watched it recently? There's the weird episode of the weird little cartoon B that really freaked me out as a kid. And there's the episode where they block the guy Henry in the in, in, in the tunnel. That's messed up. And there's the really angry boulder in one episode. Thomas Tank Engine is really messed up. Like, go watch them on YouTube and just be scarred. But there's also, of course, Tom from Tom and Jerry, like, great cartoon. What can I say? It's a bit problematic these days, but there's some really great stuff in Tom and Jerry, just really classic comedy. And of course, there's also Tommy Pickles, the lead baby of the Rugrats, man. I love the Rugrats too. Like, I'm sure I made a little bit there with those selections, but I love them all. Of course, they also highlight the different nicknames of Thomas too. We have Thomas Tank Engine, Tom, and then the diminutive of Tommy. It just covers all bases of this name. Great stuff. And actually there's also a really cool video game what kind of relates to the meaning of the name Thomas called Thomas Was Alone. This is a really fun game. It's actually narrated by Danny Wallace, the like comedian over here, really funny guy. Um, and it's about a weird like pixel, I believe, or like a computer virus. I played it when I was younger, a while back. It's just one of those sort of small narrative driven games. And it's called Thomas Was Alone. The first words you know, Thomas Was Alone. And I think I actually said that unintentionally earlier in the video. I said Thomas Was All Alone. Um, I wonder if they picked to call the main character Thomas because they knew its meaning and to play on that title. I don't know, but it just came to mind. It felt very fitting to mention it. Go play, go play. I think it's available on Steam and most places. But anyway, that's more than enough about the name Thomas. But what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Thomas? Are you called Thomas yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And I just want to share some of the thoughts of you guys on last week's names of Hansel and Gretel. Lionel said, in Germany, it will be like name a kid Humpty Dumpty or Goldilocks, as these names are very much exclusively associated with the fairy tale. That's really interesting. So I mentioned in that video if these names are popular in Germany at all. Uh, evidently that isn't the case, but someone call their kid Humpty Dumpty, please, because no, don't. Don't, because I'll just both give them. No, don't actually call you Kid Humpty Dumpty, but there must be a kid out there somewhere called Humpty Dumpty, and I want to meet you. Let me know. Let me know if you're called Humpty Dumpty down in the comments below. I'm supposed to say stuff like that, I think. I don't know. I'm confused. Dozer MC said, Here in Australia, you could definitely call your daughter Gretel and nobody would bat an eyelid. If you call your son Hansel, the kid would be laughed at every time they introduced themselves to someone new. So that's so interesting. I mentioned in that video how the name Gretel seems to be somewhat popular in Australia. And I wonder if Hansel was. How interesting how one of them has gotten the past the green light, but Hansel still has that deep association with the fairy tale. Really, really strange. And BJ Windsor, who left this comment on the Patreon, by the way, you can leave comments on Patreon too, if you're a patron, nice, nice, wink, wink. Uh, they said, no Hansel from Zoolander, denied. I was this close to mentioning Hansel from Zoolander, but I didn't know how well that film had aged. I haven't seen it in years. I really enjoyed it as a kid. Um, I think the second one was supposed to be terrible. I never watched it, but um, I did have the first one. It was like really questionable now. I should just watch it again and make that suit for myself. It's got Bowie in it. If nobody has any objections, I believe I might be of service. Do suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to be put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. I will then pick the winning name from that poll and cover it in the next Fun With First Names video. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support it and have a say in what names get explained, then please do consider becoming a patron. As I mentioned guys, Patreon is the best way to help support the channel. If you really enjoy Name Explained, 
it's the best way to do it. I really appreciate everyone who becomes a patron, no matter how much you donate. If you want to donate $100, if you want to donate $1, like, it helps the channel in huge ways. As I mentioned previously, donating $1 a month equates to about watching my videos 1,000 times. It really does help out that way. And it just gives me peace of mind knowing that I don't have to depend on YouTube ad revenue and my views tanking because, oh God, I'm not going to go. I'm going to have to go back to Sainsbury if it all goes wrong. We're not worried about that right now, though, shall we? But yeah, if you can support, patreon.com forward slash name explained, link down below. But anyway, that's more than enough for myself. Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram where I'm name explain YT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explained, where you can chat with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, guys, take care. Let's get on with this. Don't know where that sound came from. Believe that if. Mm, Starting again. I'm starting to get rambly. But the reason was. Was he? <laughs> Why is this not coming out? Aromatic word didn't. Aromatic? Aromaic. Aromic. Aromatic. Not aromatic. Mm. Oh, I need to hold this up. <laughs> don't, don't, what hand do I use? I'm going to use this hand. <laughs> Stop. It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen everything.